Welcome back, y'all. We're going to do a two-in-one today. I'm going to do a get ready with me because you guys were asking about my skincare routine. So I'm going to try and get this video done at the same time showing you my morning skincare routine. Um, obviously, I don't have a sink in front of me. I'm in my office right now, but I'm going to start with my cleanser. Now, this is my AM routine. I'll try and do like a PM routine at some point because it's slightly different which I'm sure is the same for all of you. So this is the Glenzer. I highly recommend this prequel line. Probably it's too shiny, um, but I'll link everything below. It's Glenzer, friggin' amazing. And it's like really, really affordable. So you get a huge, huge bottle. So works best when your skin is super dry. And it kind of like lathers up. Well, I have my lash of eyelashes on, so I have to be a little careful. Uh, it's just so moisturizing, you guys. I love this prequel line. It's been a huge game changer for me. The other thing that I've done um, since January, I started... I did three rounds of BBL laser on my face. I just had my final round a week and a half ago. So I highly recommend if you're thinking about doing something like that. It's made a huge difference. I have like a lot of redness in my face and on my chest. I'm going to do BBL on my chest area next winter. You can't use self tanner for like two weeks before doing your laser treatments. And obviously with summer starting, timing is not ideal <laughs> to not be able to use my self tanner. All right, that went better than I thought it would considering I have no sink right here. I would take you in my bathroom, but I have a hundred year old farmhouse that my dogs are going crazy. And our primary and primary ensuite have not been remodeled yet. So it's not a great bathroom. It's teeny tiny. Okay. All right, so we got that out of the way. Um, I'm gonna recap you guys in the past two weeks. <sighs> I don't know why my dogs are going crazy. Let me go see what's going on. Sorry about that. I left the news on in the living room and there must have been a dog commotion because she went bananas. Okay, let's recap the last two weeks. Um, the weight loss has been really, really slow. It's been super frustrating and annoying. Um, I did weigh myself this morning. I'm down 1.4 pounds. So I'm 215.6, so a total of exactly 35 pounds since December 28th. So, I mean, it's still going, but really slowed up. It's been really aggravating lately. I'm super impatient by nature. Um, but, you know, still going in the right direction, so that's good. Um, <clears throat> I will say that I've noticed over the last couple of weeks that the appetite suppression, again, I'm on 5.0 and I'm rotating around my belly button because that seems to be the best area for me. Um, I've noticed that the appetite suppression only, like the really big appetite suppression, only seems to last like the first two, maybe three days now. Um I'm still keeping it under control. I'm avoiding temptation. So I'm super happy about that. But I almost feel like no appetite suppression for the last four, almost four days of my shot week. So that's been really, really frustrating. Um, but, you know, I'm still losing and I'm still, you know, leaps and bounds ahead of where I was, you know, without zep bound. So 
I'll get to where the game plan is going from here on out. I'm going to go to my next thing in my routine. So the next step I do is this prequel. It's called the Universal Skin Solution Dermal Spray. It's uh, hypochlorous acid, electrolyzed water, soothing mineral concentrates. I really, really like this. Um, let me just spritz this. And I believe, if I remember correctly, at least it's the way I do it, you need to wait like a minute after you spray this. Otherwise, if you like immediately put stuff on after that, it kind of like inoculizes it and makes it not active. So wait a good minute before going on in your routine if you decide to try it. Um, so the next thing I wanted to fill you in on was... Uh, I did meet with my weight loss coach, Jen, about almost exactly two weeks ago. I meet with her again tomorrow. Um, and this was my first time seeing her since my physical. So I always go, not always, but most of the time I go to see her and I come with some notes and ideas and things like that. And so this last time I decided to bring up my frustrations with the healthcare system and my primary care nurse practitioner in particular regarding how disgusted, honestly, I was about the disinformation she gave me about hormone support, hormone um, replacement therapy, et cetera. And remember, they're at the same clinic. Um, so <clears throat> I was a little hesitant, but I... I have a really good rapport with Jen and so I, and I, you know, prefaced it with her saying, I trust that this stays between you and me. And she was like, absolutely. And before I even finished my comment, she already knew exactly what I was going to say. And she was like, I get it. She's like, I feel exactly the same way, which was comforting, but also sad, right? Like uh, I don't work in the healthcare system. So I can only imagine how frustrating it must be if you're stuck in that system as your profession and you're limited by these rules and regulations and bureaucracy. Um, it must be incredibly frustrating. And we, so we had a really good chat about what a mess it is. <laughs> And she was very honest with me. Um, she has a unique position. She doesn't actually have to do a lot of the BS that regular <clears throat> intake, regular nurses have to do. Because she specifically just does like health coaching. Um, previously to this position, she did have like a regular intake. I think that's the word for it. Position. So um, we had a really good chat. It was really nice to be able to voice that to somebody in this system and get their perspective. So um, I feel really, really blessed to have Jen in my life and helping me on this journey. So, you know, it's not like she can fix anything, sadly, but um, it was just nice to kind of get that off my chest and, and, and get her insider perspective, if you will. So I kind of wanted to just tell you guys about that. It's probably been about a minute. My next step is this Dr. Curisol. Curisol, I think is how you say it. The kombucha tea essence. So you shake it up. Watch my jiggly arms. I just pour like, I don't know, five drops. And y'all don't, don't judge my fading tan in a can. I have to go to the barn this afternoon. It's shot day. And my pony. And so I'm going to get real grubby. So I am not showering this morning. I'm going to shower tonight. And I'm going to do a fresh spray tan and scrub and all that good stuff. After I get grubby at the barn later today my pony Jameson right there. He's the most gorge boy in the whole wide world. 
Okay, uh, next step is this centella ampule. Put some of that on the face. Just put a generous squirt. Same deal. And most of these items I was able to safely get on Amazon. I triple checked that they were coming from the actual, you know, brand names, Amazon store, not some stupid imposter. Um, so I'll link everything um, in my Amazon shopping list below. There are a few things like the prequel products, this and the cleanser and the lotion um, that you have to get directly from prequel. And then I believe there's one or two other items that you can't get on Amazon. So I'll link everything below, but I'm really, really liking all of these products so far. And most of them, if not all of them are really decent price points. Like I don't, I don't buy crazy expensive skincare stuff, like the luxury stuff. These are higher end, but still very affordable. Most, almost all of them, I believe. Um, and I'm also going to link below where I learned about all of these. I follow, um, this woman called the contoured chemist. Um, I learned how to do my eyelashes from her. I also started ordering saint makeup. If y'all are familiar with that. Um, so she does sell saint, but she has a lot of videos that are not related to her makeup line as well. And <clears throat> I've learned a ton from her because she is a chemist. And so she goes through each of the products that she uses, why she uses them, the chemistry behind it. So it's really fascinating. I highly, highly, highly recommend her channel. I have learned so much about skincare from her and she's lovely, beautiful, and she's got gorgeous skin. So she's really fun to work with or work watch um, and learn from and you know she's kind of a newbie to the skincare scene as well she didn't start really taking care of her own skin until like five years ago so it's kind of amazing to see the transformation that you know just adopting good skincare stuff can do so it's kind of something I'm obsessed with right now because I invested in this laser treatments and you know, I'm 45, so I'm starting to show my age in areas that I'm fighting it with everything I can within reason. I'm not going to do like plastic surgery stuff, at least right now. I don't think I, I should not say never, but okay. Um, then after my, okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? No, I'm not. Okay, next step is my vitamin C. This is what I'm using right now. I'm not 100% sure I'll stick with this one again. I had just bought this one before I found the Contour Chemist. And so I kind of want to use this one up. She had some other ones she recommended. But... I don't want to be wasteful, so I'm just going to use this up before I end up switching to one of the ones she recommends in the video I'm going to link below. Then the next step is this stuff. Okay. The Experiment is the brand Super Saturated Barrier Support Serum. Oh my gosh, you guys. It makes your skin feel so amazing. A lot of, if not all, of the stuff that I use now, based on her recommendations, is to support your skin barrier. And it has really made a difference. Really, really, really made a difference. So just one pump of this baby. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like creepy. It gets glycerin based also, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it just feels, like my skin feels so happy when I put this on. Love it. Okay, 
next step is this, the Naturium Multipeptide. Just one pump. Okay, one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about in the past couple of weeks is, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I went on this um, health and wellness half day retreat with um, my girlfriend, Jen. Um, and the guy that put it on or hosted it is her market farmer. So she, it's her greens dealer, she calls them. She gets all of, he has a, far, a farmer's market stand and a farm store, um, in Prior Lake, Minnesota. Um, anyways, he's a fascinating young man. He's probably mid thirties. And so he hosts these retreats yeah, a few times a year. Um, and he cooks like a farm to table lunch after you do your morning retreat work. And this retreat was amazing. Uh, we started with some body movement and breath work. Oh, there's a hair sticking on me. Sorry, it's really annoying. Where is it? Anyways, um, so we started um, with some body movement, breath work, some of the Wim Hof methods, which I'd never done before. I've certainly heard of it. Um, so that was really amazing. And then we did hot, cold therapy. So we were on the lake and the lake was like, I don't know, it was probably, I think he said it was maybe 42 degrees. I doubt it was even that warm, although it's been a mild winter here. Um, and he builds saunas. So he had just built a really big sauna. So we all got in the sauna and then did cold plunge in Prior Lake, the lake that his house is on. And then we went back in the sauna and did another cold plunge. It was my first time doing like a cold plunge in a lake. I've done cold shower stuff, but, um, and then I did a Nordic spa up in Banff, Canada. I was on vacation, but that I just was there for fun. And this time, like we had to like practice our breathing and do all these, like stay in for a certain period of time. And it was intense, um, fascinating, learned a ton, but you guys, what was most amazing? I mean, we learned about all the health benefits and everything, but what was most amazing? Cause they told us like, oh, you're going to feel so relaxed for the rest of the day because it ended after lunch. So we were done by about like 1.30, 2 o'clock. I, I was so zen. I have never felt so relaxed, so amazing in my entire life. Like I almost couldn't drive home because I was so just like, oh, I was just a pile of jelly in a good way. Um, and I am really mind blown at how effective, I mean, there's so many crazy health benefits, um, like sitting in the sauna at, was that 190 degrees? Don't quote me on any of this, um, is like the equivalent of doing like high intensity cardio for an hour or something. It's crazy how, um, beneficial the, um, the sauna therapy is, um, so I think my husband and I are going to get a sauna. I'm super excited. We found like these pop-up tent ones that are not crazy expensive. Um, and then you can like pack them up and take them camping or whatever. So, or if you're like having a party and you don't want this sauna, you know, in your backyard, <laughs> anyways, I think my husband's like all for it. So we'll see. All right. This is my Youth to the People, Peptides and C, Energy Eye Concentrate. Sorry, I can only, I have ADHD brain, so I can't like talk and do my face stuff at the same time. I don't know how people on the internet do this, influencers, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Where did I put my cat? There it is. 
Um, so yeah, that was really fascinating. So I'm really, really interested in getting a sauna set up just for me and my husband to use. Um, and then maybe, maybe a cold plunge at some point. Um, I'm in Minnesota, so I need to find one that will survive Minnesota winters because I want these outside. I don't want this in my house. Well, so yeah, I'm still doing research on that, but for sure we're going to start with the sauna because you can always just do a cold shower. It's not as effective as the cold plunge, but um, it'll work in a pinch. So, and I, from what I've seen so far, the, uh, cold plunges kind of a lot pricier than, um, this pop-up sauna, um, that Matt, the farmer also has on his property and he highly recommended for a portable, you know, starter option still does, still does the trick. So, um, it was a really, really, really good retreat. Um, I'd love to hire this guy to come out and cons consult with us to build a greenhouse, a ge geothermal greenhouse, because uh, he's built those on his farms. So obviously mine would be a much smaller scale, but it was great to meet him in person. I've heard him about him a ton. Of course, I've bought his stuff at the farmer's market, but <clears throat> it was great. The breath work was really interesting, too. Um, just have to be more self-disciplined to do stuff like that. All right, let me get on to my next step. My next step is, oh, sorry. No, that was not my next step. My next step is my moisturizer. So I also use Prequel. Their Urea Advanced Relief Moisturizing Milk. Amazing. And you know, you get like a huge bottle for like 21 bucks or something. It's crazy. You could use this all over your body if you wanted. Oh, it feels so amazing. My skin has never felt so happy and moisturized since I've switched to these prequel products. Oh, and I was really dealing with dry, um, unhappy skin in my 40s. So really, really, really happy with these products. All right, my last step is my SPF. I'm using this one. I'm uh, I like it, um, but so it's beat the sun, but I'm still on the hunt. You know, SPFs are tough. They're tough. I was really hopeful about this one, but it, to me, it feels just like your regular old chemical sunscreen. I was hoping it would have a different texture. Um, and I only do sunscreen on my face and then I go down my neck I don't ever wear sunscreen on the rest of my body unless I'm like going to the beach or the pool or something but I want the vitamin d I just don't want wrinkles on the face and skin cancer obviously but I do want vitamin d from the sun okay so one thing I learned from the contour chemist is your SPF has to be the very, very, very last thing in your skincare routine before makeup, or um, if you're not wearing makeup, still the very last thing. And then before you move on to your makeup, if you do wear makeup, sorry, I got a friggin' dog. <laughs> ah! Um, you have to wait 15 minutes at least before putting anything else on your face. So if you're an SPF person on your face, which I hope you are, um, make sure you work that into your routine, that you wait 15 minutes after you do your SPF before you move on to your makeup part of your routine. Um, so how I do it in the morning is I get up, I do my treadmill. So I've already done a half hour, still 15 more minutes to do. I, after I do my first half hour, I do my skincare. 
And then I get back on the treadmill and do my last 15 minutes. And then I go back and finish up with hair and makeup. So um, I am going to pause this. I also quickly, because I am going to put this stuff on before I finish up my um, treadmill, is I'm going to show you my castor oil mix. So I have this is my bottle. So you got to have a dark bottle. Um, this is my mix of Queen of Thrones. Make sure you get organic castor oil if you're a castor oil lover like I am. And I cut it with coconut oil. So I mix those and then I put some um, whatever the grade is called for essential oils to make it smell better because castor oil doesn't smell great. It doesn't smell bad but it's not a pleasant smell. <laughs> and since I lather it all over my body, um, I add like some body grade um, therapeutic uh, essential oil drops just to give it a nice little scent. So I'll do this and then finish up my treadmill. And then by the time I'm done, it's kind of, dried enough so so I'm not sticking to my clothes one annoying thing or not annoying but one of the downsides of castor oil if you're a tan in the can person like me is you have to spray you have to redo yourself tan more often because it's oil but it is so amazing. Oh, my skin just has really responded to the castor oil. And I also do castor oil packs, like the liver pack. Um, and I put it in my belly button at night, etc. And I do my face massages after I put castor oil on at night. So I'll try and show you that in a different video when I do my nighttime routine. But I'm going to go finish up my treadmill and I'll be back in 15 minutes and put on some makeup and talk about the rest of my updates. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to finish up my morning routine, fill you in on the last of my updates. Um, I'm going to do my supplements. I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you what to take, but I'm just going to share with you in case you're curious what my supplement routine is currently. Um, I do take B12, but I only take it once a week. So I take it on Monday, so I'm not going to take it today. Um, I also drink water kefir every day that has B12 in it. Um, D3K2. I hope everybody is on their vitamin D. I do a women's daily. I can't really recommend this brand. It's first time I'm using it so whatever it's just your basic women's daily I take vegan omega-3s DHA DPA everybody is also taking care of their omegas you know you don't need to eat fish to get omegas where do the fish get it from they get it from the algae uh, I also take NAC Highly recommend. Anybody curious, do your own research. And I take the Curamed Curcumin, which is the active, like the active component of turmeric. <clears throat> then I also take this. I don't care if there's haters out there. Um, I am attempting, my husband and I are attempting to detox from spike protein from COVID vaccine, the mRNA vaccination. So I don't want coffee, I want water. But I take this with a meal, so I'm not going to eat yet. So I'll take that later. I highly recommend everybody research what's going on. with uh, the vaccines. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. 
All right, so let's get some makeup put on. Where did I leave off? Okay, I went through the wellness retreat. Sleep struggles, that was the next thing on my list. Okay, I'm gonna prep my skin. I'm trying this like hack that I heard about. Um, I think I have oily skin, I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily have oily skin. I just, with my makeup, I get shiny. I don't like break out really anymore, but does that mean I have oily skin? I don't know, so I'm trying this hack. Um, so I first spray with my setting spray. And then I do my loose powder. I use the Laura Mercier, um, what is this? The translucent loose. So I'm gonna put, sorry, I've never put my makeup on while trying to film a video before. I don't know how people do this. So just a light coat of your loose powder over your setting spray. And then your, um, oh my gosh, I have old lady brain right now. <laughs> Why can't I think of what this is? Primer, my goodness, sorry. And I'm using this right now, the Rimmel Stay Matte, but I just ordered a new one from the Urban Decay line. I'm gonna give it a try on the search for, that's a lot of, that's a lot, Ugh, way too much. And I just gotta pat it in. Okay, let that set for a minute. So sleep still been a struggle and um, I mean, it's okay, but uh, it's just, it's been a struggle ever since daylight savings and I feel like I get in a good, finally get some good sleep again and then something upsets it and I just... Once my regular sleep schedule gets messed with, then I'm kind of a hot mess for a week. So um, it's certainly better than it was right after um, daylight savings, but it's been a struggle. Um, and that certainly makes me more hungry if I didn't get a good night's sleep. Um, so I just have to be patient. Have to be patient. I am doing all the right things. I do my light therapy in the morning. You know, I'm really strict about my bedtime. I try not to take hydroxyzine just because I'm super tired the next day, but I have had to resort to it once or twice over the last couple months. So my main problem is like the waking up at right now it's 3.45 in the morning. So um, I did end up finding a great um, women's health menopause. I'm not in menopause, but I'm perimenopausal. So I found a really, really um, highly recommended. Um, she's on that North American Menopause Society, I think it's called. Um, and I was able to get in with her. She's at a different clinic, but it was only like, 35 minutes away. Um, I was able to get in with her like within a week, which was amazing. Um, she's like a doctor of nurse practitioner. I don't know. She's got some weird initials. Um, but I had a great talk with her. Um, so, and then she did prescribe, um, so I'm on the micronized progesterone and then I have the estradiol patch and then um, the estradiol, um, they look, I think they're like teeny little pills in there. Like they dissolve. Um, you put them up your hoo-ha. <laughs> Sorry if there's any men watching this, but whatever. Um, so, and, and you have to do like loading doses. So I, it's not even been a week 
that I've been on them that should hopefully really improve my sleep. Um, but she did say it would take at least a full month before I can really tell any major differences or improvements. And like I said, I don't have any terrible perimenopause symptoms. Um, I'm just hoping to improve my sleep, number one. That's always my main interest in life is getting good sleep. And then um, obviously estrogen, estradiol is going to be amazing for skin. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then of course, just like my bone health, my heart health, my overall health and longevity, getting into this hormone support earlier, like in perimenopause, rather than waiting till menopause. So because there's more and more studies and research showing that uh, the benefits of getting hormone support earlier rather than waiting till your 50s is something that I highly encourage everybody to look into. So in my previous video, I linked a bunch of awesome videos to get started if you're interested in that. So I'll keep you posted. I get, like I said, it's way too early to tell. I think I started taking them last Thursday and it's Tuesday. So, you know, it's been like four or five days. Um, well, let me get some makeup put on here. <laughs> this is my, it's got a bunch of tape on it because you see like the labels, they're all like metallic. And every time I would put on my foundation, I would get these like, um, like almost like glitter pieces on my fingers. And then I would get it on my face. It'd be really annoying. So sorry, if you cannot read this, it is the um, It Cosmetics. I'll link it below. Uh, I can't remember what this, oh, sorry. Your Skin Bit Better Foundation. I'm 34 medium cool, but obviously you're probably not. Um, let me get some of this put on here. Sorry, I have to look in my mirror to do this. Okay, let me try and talk and put foundation on at the same time. But not while I'm working on my jaw. All right. Okay. All right. So let's talk about prescriptions. Um, okay. So right after I made my last video, I got a call or a message from my doctor's office saying my pharmacist informed them he cannot source the 7.5. Shocker, right? <laughs> So, you know, and everybody started talking about the shortage and the writing was on the wall that um, I kind of had to look into other avenues. I first looked into the um, Lily Direct. I still haven't heard from them. And that This is like two weeks ago now. Um, and then I started to panic and I'm like, okay, well... Maybe this is the time to bite the bullet and look into something like Join Fridays. Um, and I only say Join Fridays just because I watch The Countess of Shopping and she um, talks about them quite a bit. So, and she's vetted them. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to go with that one. So I decided to just go ahead and join Join Fridays. I need to check if I did this right. Normally I'm closer to my mirror, you guys. Okay, looks halfway decent. Um, so I got enrolled, whatever, I think. So that was two weeks ago. The soonest appointment was actually today, 8 a.m. this morning. Um, so I snagged the spot. And, you know, I messaged them because I was like, oh my gosh, 
Yeah, because I'm going to use my last pen this Friday of my 5.0. Oh, sorry. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye, also from Id Cosmetics. Um, I was kind of freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, am I going to be able to get it in time? And so I messaged with Join Fridays and they're like, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. That should be okay time, time-wise to get, because obviously I'm going to have to get a compound. So I was like, all right, it is what it is. You know, I mean, the bonus was it was going to save me a little bit of money um, over, you know, the coupon for the brand name Zetbound. So I was good with that. Then um, I was at the doctor's office. I had to take my stepdaughter for a sport physical. And um, I stopped in to talk to my pharmacist, Matt. And I was like, everybody's name is Matt. Matt the farmer, Matt the pharmacist, Matt my brother. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just popped in to talk to him. And uh, I was going to tell him, like, hey, you know, I think it was refilling my CGM. Yeah, I was. And then I was like, hey, just so you're aware, I'm, I joined a, you know, telehealth for my, my zip bound. I'm going to have to go with a compound, blah, blah. And he was like, let me, he's like, let me just, he goes into his little computer thing. I don't know how they order drugs, how that works, but he's like 7.5, right? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, Oh, there's one available. He's like, I'll snag it. And I'm like, what? He's like, we'll see if it actually shows up. I'm like, do it. But then I was like, Matt, I, can I even fill it? You know, because I had just filled my 5.0 and I think it has to be like 20. I think my, even though my insurance doesn't cover it, they can still dictate when I can fill my prescription. Like, I don't understand that, but whatever. So anyways, he was like, okay. He's like, well, you can fill it next Thursday or something. It was like the 11th. That's the Thursday. He's like, so if it comes in, He's like, you can come pick it up on the 11th. That's the earliest day that I could actually pick up and fill my prescription. So he got my 7.5. I got it from the pharmacy. So super excited. Um, I haven't taken it yet, obviously. I still have one more pen that I'm going to take this Friday for my last pen of 5.0. But at least, like, not that I'm, I'm not worried about taking the compound, but obviously I prefer to stick with Zepbound, um, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. I just, it's one less thing to switch up, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I just love my pharmacist. Small town, like, small pharmacy, they are amazing. So, um... <clears throat> Anyways, as far as Join Fridays goes, I'm still enrolled with them. I just ended up rescheduling my first intake appointment or whatever. I just bumped it to, I think, May 14th since, obviously, I got my next, I've got my next five weeks covered. So um, I'm going to assume this 7.5 box that Matt, the pharmacist, was able to get me is a total fluke. But, um, and if not, I'll just keep bumping my appointment out, um, see if that works. So, anywho, I got the 7.5. I'm like super, super stoked about that. I was really kind of freaked out for a couple of days because when I saw Join Fridays couldn't get me in until like the week before my shot was due, I was like wigging out, you guys. So, yeah. Okay, I need to uh, set this. Sorry, you guys, I cannot do two things at once. Oh my goodness. I need to do some setting powder. Oh. 
about my old lady skin. All right, so <clears throat> those are the big updates, I guess. Um, you know, weight loss, pretty much stalled. I mean, I technically lost like 1.6 pounds or something like that. I am super annoyed, super frustrated, super anxious to get more weight off. Um, I haven't done my measurements. I should really, really do that. Maybe next video I'll do the measurement updates. Um, and then I'll do like the side by sides again, because I, you know, I'm sure I'm losing inches. My body is changing. Um, just, you know, it's frustrating when you don't see the number changing that much on the scale. And you start to get like down on your, not down on myself. That's not the right word, but um, it's frustrating, right? It's frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna, this is the NYX. Sorry, this is my contour palette. Let me do this quick so I don't give myself weird freaking contour lines. Um, the, the 7.5, you guys, I just, I feel like I'm putting a lot of weight into the, the medication. Like, I just feel like it feels like it's hardly working anymore. So I'm like really anxious, really anxious to get on the 7.5 to feel that. That boost again of all the good appetite suppression and whatnot. I have like no side effects anymore at all. And I don't know if that's common. I feel like maybe a lot of people are probably like that where after you've been on it, what have I been on it for three and a half months? Like maybe most people hopefully are like me where your body just starts to adapt maybe because I have no side effects like none um and even the appetite suppression I mean compared to not being on that bone yes my appetite is suppressed but it's not like the amazing appetite suppression you know when you're first on it but um yeah really really looking forward to because I am doing things in like a totally wrong order. I am not doing things like I normally do. Okay, this is my blush. It's the Cargo Sunset Beach. Again, I'm not even showing you. Cargo blush. I've been using this for like, I don't know, 800 years. Anyways, I got ADHD brain today, you guys, big time. But hopefully a lot of you are like that where... You know, I do not have constipation issues, nothing. Again, I do a lot of work on my microbiome. Um, the blenders. It's like I put too much contour on that cheek. You guys, I'm a little like a clown. I can't do two things at once. Anywho, um, where was I? You guys, I have such squirrel brain today. I can't like form a thought. Um, okay, let me do my eyes. Okay, if any of you are into makeup and being girl a girly girl like I am, you gotta get Lashify or Lilac Street Lashes. I am telling you, it cuts down my makeup time. By like 15 minutes and I can wear such little amount of eye makeup oh sorry this is 
Anastasia. I, I think. Um, it's amazing. Like, oh, where did it go? Mm, it. I just all I have to do is put a teeny tiny amount of eyeshadow on, and like, my eyes look amazing. I've been doing them for, I don't know, like a month and a half, maybe. And I'm getting a lot faster at putting them on and I'm getting them to last longer. Like everyone says, it's kind of a steep learning curve um, to getting the full week's worth of wear, like getting them to last a week. So um, I'm still not to a week. But I also am a side sleeper, which obviously is not going to be good for, you know, your semi-permanent eyelash extensions. Um, but it also only takes me like 10 minutes now to put them on. So big deal, you know, like I just redo them. I do them like twice a week. No big deal. I still save time in the long run. Um, so this is Hargo, one of my you had me at Aloha palettes, in case you're interested. I think I'm gonna do some show. Um Okay, I might look pretty crazy, guys. My bad old lady eyes, so I can't have a mirror like behind my computer. Oh, okay, sorry you guys, this I'm just very rambly today. I apologize. But y'all asked for my skincare routine. So hopefully you make it through this whole thing. Anyways, we're just girlfriends chit-chatting, so enjoy, right? Okay, uh, let me get my other shadow on. Mm. Oops, I don't think that's enough. Okay, what was I talking about, you guys? Oh, the eyelashes? I mean, I'm sorry. Do my eyelashes not look the thing? Eyelashes just make me happy, okay? I feel so pretty and confident. And, and my other reasoning for doing these, I don't know if semi-permanent um, eyelash extensions is the right term for them. That's what I say. Um, but I was having a hard time doing mascara because with age, I'm getting heavier hoods on my eyes. And so, and I had pretty long eyelashes. I just... Um, they were like too curl. Like I just, I had nice eyelashes, but I had a hard time doing mascara because I would always get like a crap ton of mascara on my hooded lids. And I don't know about you, but like mascara nowadays, they're all so like gunky and clumpy and like, what did they do to mascara? You guys, I, it, it's so hard to find a half decent mascara anymore that isn't like weirdly clumpy and stuff, I think. Okay, one thing from Saint that I really, really love. I'm okay, I'm not trying to diss Saint makeup because that has a learning curve too. And maybe this summer I can get into it, but their brush cleaner is amazing and it's like immediate dry. So you don't have to like wait 24 hours. I end up just spraying them because there was a teeny bit of moisture on it. And then it can kind of like gunk up your eyeshadow palette. 
but I just, after I'm done using them for the day, I have a spray, and then I've got my little makeup rag. I'm just, sorry, you probably can't see that. I got one of these guys. I just brush it over a toy clean. It feels dry. So, anyways, I mean, you guys, look, I did my eyes while talking to you in what, 30 seconds? No mascara. I don't do eyeliner or anything because I have old lady wrinkles and I just feel that um, when you've got textured skin, like look at this bag, look at my eyes, you guys. Uh, when you've got textured skin, um, I feel like the more product you put on those areas, it just draws attention to them. That's why I love having amazing lashes because it still gives me the full eye look without having to put product on that just like gets in the creases and makes me look like I'm a hundred. Okay, I need a little more powder on my under eye. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Laura Mercier translucent loose. Uh, I'm just gonna put some in gently. That's like pretty much it for my makeup. Oh, I have to do my lips. Okay, hold on. My coffee might be getting cold. All right, I'm gonna go zap my coffee and then we'll finish the lips and finish up this chit chat. Okay, guys, I'm back. I have a fresh cup of hot coffee. Okay, I gotta finish this up. So, this is just the La Roche Posay micellar water. I use this for a lot of things, but I'm just gonna get some on my spoolie here. Sometimes I get like eyeshadow or powder. On my gorgeous lashes. I just want to clean them up. Sorry, I have my little lashify mirror over here. <laughs> She's so awesome. Okay. Then. I'm kind of interested in getting um, microblading at some point, but I'm nervous about finding a good microblader. My hair lady gave me a really good referral for one, but I'm kind of scared. Like, what if I hate what she does? It's kind of intimidating. Okay, this is the NYX NYX lift and snatch. I don't think this is the right color for me. I feel like it's too light. Oh, those are kind of wet still. I'm gonna let those dry off. Um, <clears throat> I am gonna use my Lashify water sealer. I'm trying to see if, if I do this every day, if it helps the bond stay longer. So that's what this is. This is not mascara. It is just the waterproof Sealer. Oh, it's my work phone. Why does work always call me? So annoying, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll do my lips while I wait for my brows. So I'm pretty minimal when it comes to lips. I just have one of these Sephora. I don't even know what these are called. Cream lip stain. No, I cannot read this. Let's say 71, whatever color that is. It's like super, super nude. I just kind of use this to line my lips. And then, I'm really 
really liking this. This is Urban Decay. And again, I'm going my glasses on. Love you back talk, I think, is the color. Or maybe that's the product. I don't know. Then I just go over with this. That's it, you guys. Oh, I gotta set my face. I'm gonna just fill in my sparsy spots with my lift and snatch quick. Because, you know, when you get old, your eyebrows get sparse. And then I just take my spoolie again, just fluff them out so it's not any harsh lines. And spray. That's it. That's my routine. Um, I think I had any other updates for you. Um, I just, my wins for the past couple of weeks, um, other than I technically did lose weight, so that's always a good thing. Ugh, my skin is still oily from the castor oil. Um, we, it was really gorgeous here last weekend, like 80 degrees-ish. And so my husband and I got the rest of our raised garden beds put together, just waiting for my organic soil to come um, to put on the top six inches. But we got the bases full of like old logs and sticks and dirt and kitchen scraps, all that good stuff. So we just got to top those off with the organic garden mix. Um Super excited about that. We got a lot of lot done. Um, my movement has been super consistent. So that's going really, really well. Um, I am I upped to 50 pounds for my weight training. Um, I haven't upped the number of my per rep. Um, I like the first two weeks I'm doing up to 50, and now I'm gonna up to 20 per rep instead of 15 per rep. I'm going to start that next week. Um, I've still been successful avoiding temptation, even though I am noticing more temptation. But hopefully, once I start 7.5 in a week and a half, hopefully I get some better appetite suppression and that food chatter goes away. It's just been markedly different the last few weeks. Um Again, no bad side effects, and I'm happy about that, but it would be really nice to get in that consistent weight loss. Again, I just feel really stalled out, um, but we'll see. I mean, I'll do my measurements next week, and I don't feel like things are fitting super differently. I feel like things are shifting, certainly. I'm also, you know, weight training. Like, I'm doing a lot of... Um, exercise type stuff. So my body is changing in that way as well. So, and then hopefully, you know, I'll continue to see some interesting changes with this hormone support that I'm starting. I really hope that that helps my sleep and all that good stuff. So we'll see. Um, hope everybody's doing great. Um, Thanks for tuning in. I hope this wasn't too annoying. I am not good at this get ready with me stuff, but if you want more of this kind of weird get ready with me stuff, or if you want me to show you how I do my eyelashes, I can certainly try and do that. It's kind of fun, like girly stuff. So just let me know. Put some comments below. Let me know what you want me to talk about other than GLP-1 stuff, because we certainly talk about that enough. Um, we can talk about my, um, journey on trying to detox from the spike protein from the vaccines. If you want, I think people need to start talking about that a whole heck of a lot more. I think, again, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, but I do a ton of research and I am a pretty smart cookie and, uh, I notice a lot more people talking about this now. Like people are 
starting to not feel like we have to be silent anymore, like we did two years ago. I mean, I got vaccinated. I was very pro-vaccine. I'm still pro-vaccine in general. I am not anti-all vaccine at all. I am um, very concerned about this. It's not really a vaccine that we've had with COVID. So I feel very strongly that we all need to start educating ourselves on what we have injected in ourselves because I think a lot of us are probably having some regrets in that department. Um, I know I certainly am, and a lot of my friends and family feel the same way that did get the vaccine. So, you know, let's not let society silence us. Let's speak our truth and, and discuss. So if you disagree with me, I respect your opinion, but this is my opinion. So, um, but you know, it's not what you're into. Don't watch me anymore. That's totally fine. But if you're interested in more of that stuff, I'm happy to share my journey. Oh, the other thing, I ordered this for me and my husband. I forgot to, at my um, nail physical to get my vitamin D levels checked. So, um, like I said, I take vitamin D, but living in the Midwest and you know, I always have clothes on for the most part when I go outside. So I am really curious just to see where my vitamin D levels are at. I haven't had them checked in a while. So I am really concerned. I want to make sure my husband and I are both getting those to an optimal level because that is key to so many bodily functions and immune health and all these things. So anyways, uh, hopefully I wasn't too crazy here for you, <laughs> but, um, if you want any more beauty tips, not that I am an expert by any means, I'm happy to share what has been working for me. So anyways, crazy, weird, rambly little update for you, but I hope everybody is doing well, staying healthy, staying on track, getting your movement in. I am averaging about 11,000 steps still, but, um, it's been kind of crazy at work. So and now it's like crazy, rainy, stormy day. So it's not going to be a whole lot of extra walking going on today. So, um, still chugging away, getting better every day at my goals. So hope y'all are doing the same. Talk to you soon. Bye guys.